Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So, still continuing on with Alice. This is actually the image that we're gonna use. Uh, me and Maria from Forever Crafty. We are doing a sort of a challenge. We wanted to show everyone how we approach the files. She'll be recording her design. And then um, we like to use different materials. I'm definitely more into the glitter. She's more into regular cardstock. And so we just wanna show you what two designers using the same file come up with. I mean, this is pretty standard, right? I mean, she, she's got her look. It's not like I'm gonna go with a printed pattern for her dress or something like that. Um, but I just wanted to show you how we approach it. So we're gonna do 30 inches for this character. And it's going to be, I would say, relatively easy because like if you remember all of my toddler, um, the Disney princesses, the toddler size, because there are so many segments to this file. And when I say segments, I don't mean pieces. Um, what I'm looking for is like a head, a upper body, lower body, legs, uh, shoes. Every part of that means that each segment can be 10 inches and will then there be um, seamless. In this one, the only piece that I'm worried about is this big blue skirt because it is long, it's wide and long. So I have a feeling that it's going to be more than my 12 by 12 mat. Um, but other than that, everything else looks like it should be fine. So let's make her really big. So right now we're gonna change the height to 30 and that changes the overall image to 16 inches wide and 30 inches long. So I'm going to zoom out just so that we don't have to scroll up and down. And let's unlock this and start working on the file. So yeah, I mean look at, even with this space right here, this is only seven inches by 11 inches. Technically, <laughs> we could even leave this as is and have it cut on a 12 by 12 mat, right? I mean, that's what happens when you have a full body and make it 30 inches. Everything should be seamless, except for this gigantic blue piece right here. <laughs> but um, I'm going to separate this just so that, um, I normally would separate everything, but I think I'm just gonna separate this into two pieces. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. And the reason is, and I'll show you in a second. So I'm gonna put this square over her bottom half so that we're gonna separate the head or the face from her arms. So we're gonna slice. When you're slicing, you can slice two items at one time. It's the square and her skin. So here we go. I'm gonna remove the, um, the slice results because we don't need it. And probably when I go to cut this, I'm gonna drop this in like this. So instead of it taking the full 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, if I wanted to, I can save the rest of this for another project. All right, so that's her face. Let me zoom in for a second. Um, let's look at this for a minute. So this is her face. All right, so let's look at the... I don't think that we're gonna need this. Sorry, where is it? Here it is but I always do this for the face, so we're gonna do it just in case we need it. If there is a seam running down through her eyes and through her mouth, for instance, I wanna be able to cover up that seam. Even though um, her eye color is the white and the blue is gonna come hide some of the seams, there's still an open section, right? And same thing with the mouth. There's always like, you know, her, uh, pink lips or red lips, whatever, but there's always like a little bit of black left over and I don't want to be I don't want to see the seams at all. So what you want to do is you want to duplicate the face and then on this one we're going to go to contour and we're going to click hide all and then we're going to make the face black, the same as the background. So see if there were to be a seam down here then we would put this in between the seams and the face. So the face would go on top. So let me send this to the front so you can see what that, look like, what that looks like and see if there were any seams here or here, it would now be seamless and then we would add the lips and the eyes and her face will look like perfection. All right, okay, so we have this. Um, oh, 
how did I make so many copies? All right, let me delete this one because we don't need that. And let me zoom back out and let's continue working on this file. Let's look at her, her hair next. So her hair is seven inches by eight inches. Again, I mean, this can cut on a regular piece of cardstock. The only thing I would probably do is let's slice out that little piece so that we can save, because I'm going to use glitter cardstock. So I want to be able to save the excess. So if I slice that out, what would happen is when I go to the Make It screen, I can maybe squeeze this in right here. And that leaves a lot of excess usable space for my next project. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. OK, let's look at the whites. So the whites. Um, Let's, you know, just break it up into pieces. I'm gonna turn this over and slice out the, the pantyhose or the tights, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. Um, all right, so let's look at this. This is four inches by six inches. Okay, so it's sizable. I'm gonna delete the slice results. Here's this. Let's look at this top part, there's a lot going on here. So let's turn it this way. And let's get this part out. And move it up just a little bit. Okay. And grab these two items and slice. And then I'm going to flip this over. Yeah, you can still see it. And I slice out the apron string. And you see like where my cursor, oh, you can't see because my face is there. Give me a second, let me move this. <laughs> or here, let me move this up. Okay. All right, so I wanna slice right here, but this is still here. What you wanna do is you just wanna take your cursor, make it really thin, pick up the white, pick up the square, and that's it. You don't need to grab everything on the screen. As soon as you touch an item, it counts. And so I can slice even though there's a lot of stuff going on right here. If you ever select two items and you go to slice and it's grayed out like it is now, that means you either picked up one item or you picked up more than two. Um, I would say that most of the time, if you're having slicing issues, it's gonna be user error. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. That's just the way it is. All right. So this I might just leave together because I'm too lazy to um, slice out all these pieces. Let's look at this piece. 10 inches by 8 inches. Yes, it's going to be seamless. It's going to cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and we won't have any issues. Let's look at this. So this is gigantic piece. It's wide. It's 16 inches and 19 inches long. So it's not truly 19 inches because there's a lot of empty space up here. So let's turn this guy around using the same piece still. I'm gonna bring it up here and I'm gonna slice out the top half of the blue and the bottom half of the blue. So this leaves us the skirt and the skirt looks like it's in two pieces. So you see how this little piece is by itself? I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna get rid of the slice results here. Here's all of our blues. I'm just gonna leave it over here. Okay, delete this. All right. I, I'm gonna separate out this piece. So let's duplicate it. And on this one, we're gonna click contour and get rid of the big portion. That leaves just a little itty bitty piece, which is two inches by almost three inches. Then on this one, I'm gonna contour and get rid of that small piece because we already separated it out. And let's see how big this piece is. So it's 15 inches by 11 inches. It's, it's too big. Um, if this wasn't, you know, just a tutorial with um, Forever Crafty, then I might just use 12 by 24 cardstock and call it a day and it'll be seamless and she's going to be 30 inches and just seamless top to bottom right except for the black back background um but because this is sort of like a challenge 
I'm going to show you two different ways that I would do this. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to cut both of them to show you what it looks like with glitter cardstock. My first option is we're just going to slice it. There's going to be a seam, but I'm going to use dark blue glitter cardstock. You're not going to notice the seam because it's dark and it's glitter. And I, and I'm going to slice it like right here where it's thin. I mean, thinner, it's still not that thin, but it's not long. Like I'm not going to slice it from top to bottom here and have this gigantic seam that I'm, I'm hoping no one notices. Right? <laughs> I'm going to slice it right around here. So let's bring in a brand new square and you know, let's just slice it and see what that looks like. I've done this before using a dark blue glitter cardstock. I've sliced up Cinderella before and she looked perfectly fine. No one noticed um, the seam in her dress at all. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna slice up these two items. And let's see what we have. So, get rid of that, get rid of this. Okay, so now this piece is 10 inches by five and a half. This piece is seven inches by 11 inches. So it's perfect. Let me see if we can actually, I don't think we can. This will still be too big. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna cut on two pieces of cardstock, okay? And we're gonna tape it together like this. And with the dark blue glitter cardstock, I'm gonna say, I feel pretty confident because I, like I said, I've done it with Cinderella that you're not gonna, you're not gonna notice the seam. You might be able to see it if it catches the sunlight right where you know the seams are, but I would say because it's towards the bottom, she's gonna be flawless here. Your eyes aren't gonna be drawn to the bottom of her skirt. So I'm going to assume uh, that you're not gonna see that seam. That's part one. Part two, dress number or skirt number two. What I wanna do is very similar to this. See how it was this, another piece? There's no reason that it's another piece, right? It's all part of the dress. So I'm gonna make a deliberate seam right here. So this is the, the blue skirt is gonna be in three pieces on purpose, okay? So what I'm gonna do is first, let's zoom in so that we can really see the skirt. And I'm gonna duplicate um, I'm gonna duplicate this piece as well because we're gonna make two completely separate skirts. And on this one, I might go with the lighter blue cardstock because there will not be any seams, right? So th the way I'm gonna slice this up, and you see how like with dresses and hair, I would say in general, like when you have a seam or like a deliberate seam, um, there's usually like some curve to it. It's never just like a thin rectangle. So what I like to use is I like to go to my text and choose the I Love Glitter font. So even though it's there, I'm gonna just type it in. I Love Glitter. It's from DaFont, it's free. And that's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. It is the square bracket. So it's the key to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. And you see it gives us this this is what that comes out to be. So it's got a, like a nice curve. I wanna, these are thin, right? So I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna make it thinner to match sort of the size of this, okay? I'm gonna flip this over and I'm tempted to make it even thinner, okay? And I'm gonna slice it right around there. And see how there's like a little bit of a curve? I'm hoping the little bit of the curve makes it seem more natural that the skirt is in three pieces. Just like uh, there's no reason why it's in two pieces, right? Okay, so let's grab these two items and slice. So we're gonna get rid of the slice results, which is this and this black line and this blue line right here. And so now you see how the skirt, it kind of matches, right? It's not as curvy as I thought it would be, but it's not straight. To me, it, it sort of matches this line pretty well. Um, maybe I would have wanted a little bit more of a curve. So I'm going to 
undo all of this. I'm gonna look at that lump, that glyph again, and I'm gonna choose something with a little bit more curve. I'm gonna choose an area with more curve. Okay, I think, um, let me undo it one more time. There, okay. So I'm gonna use the top of this where it has a little bit more of a curve, and I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. Mm. Because I made it so thin, it lost its texture, but that's okay, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna undo it one more time. So it's gonna be what it is. Does it look exactly like it did before? Yeah, maybe. All right, I'm gonna get rid of all that. Okay, so now we've got this, right? We're gonna duplicate it. And did I hit it? Okay, there we go. This one, I'm gonna click contour and we're gonna separate out the pieces, right? So I'm gonna click on this. We have the long piece. The long piece is seven inches by 11 inches. We can cut that on the Cricut. This one, we're gonna click contour, get rid of the long piece. And this is 10 and a half inches by 5.4. So what I'm gonna do is this is the skirt now, right? I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna change the color because I'm gonna use two different color cardstock so that you can see the difference. I'm gonna make this a light blue. And let's zoom out. Um, I'm going to make this top duplicate. I'm gonna make this one light blue as well. So we're gonna have a whole set and I'm just gonna place it on top. I'm not gonna do two separate ones. Everything else is gonna remain the same, but I'm gonna lay on top this blue versus this blue and take pictures and you can have. So probably, I haven't talked to Forever Crafty about this, but she's probably only gonna do one. I don't think that she's gonna do this option. This is just the way I'm approaching it. I wanna show you the difference while this is like a fun tutorial. So, all right, so we've got that. I think we're done. We just have the black background. So let's look at this girl. She's 30 inches, so let's build our squares. Now, if you've been following me for a while, the reason why I like to do this is I want the squares to be flushed. We're still trying to achieve a seamless project, as seamless as we can, incorporating all the tips and tricks that we know. One is like a deliberate seam. One is using glitter cardstock, right? Um, duplicating the face and contouring it. Well, the same thing with the black background is when you make a grid of squares, we're able to really push up the, um, the pieces back together and tape them. And it's easier to, to tape back together where the four ends are corners and they all meet up. So if you can push it up against each other, tape it, it's just, um, it's just easier that way. So let's do it. <laughs> let's bring in a square and we're gonna make this 11 by 11. And I know we can go up to 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. And if you can see right now, I mean, she's actually gonna be seamless for quite the, this whole top, right? But let's just build our squares. We can do that afterwards. And this is another reason why it's good to build the squares like this, because when you start to adjust things, you can um, still make sure that it's seamless but, and back up to, you know, like uh, flush squares. So, <laughs> all right, let's go to that position feature. We're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 5.6 becomes six, 18.3 becomes 18. Then we're gonna duplicate it. And that square, we're gonna put it really close to the first one. And same thing, 17.25 becomes 17, 18. I'm gonna show you the background of this. So the X coordinate is the one running across, the Y coordinate is the one running up and down. So when it says six, that means go over six units, go down 18 units, and here's the beginning of our square. This is at six, right? Our paper is 11 inches. So six plus 11 is 17, and this is at 17. Now that we have our two flush squares, grab both of them. So hit the shift key and you can see they're both selected. 
duplicate because they're already flushed with each other, right? So we're gonna put this one right around here and round to the nearest whole number. So six and 29, duplicate again and put this one down here. And this becomes six and 40. All right, scroll down and grab our black background and arrange send to the front. And now we're gonna see what we can do. And remember the this top part, we were able to get onto one square, right? So now we can delete this. We can move this over and I can just pick this, oops, not that. Let's leave her here. Let's pick this up and just move it over. If I put it close enough, I can still round. So that's the nice thing about building this grid. This I can change to 12 and this becomes 18. I know that this square is flushed with this one and this one. Okay, so now we have this, it's coming down the middle. It's just splitting her in half. That's fine. I wonder if we can move this up a little bit more. And I was hoping to get this under one. Let's see if it would work. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Let me undo that. Let me grab the square. Oh my gosh, it does work. It fits. Okay, so let's make sure that this square is flushed with that. So this is gonna be 11, I think it needs to be at 11. Well, this can be 11.4, but this needs to be 20. Oh, uh, what did I do? That was not what I wanted. Hold on, let me put this down here. Um, oh, 40. Ah, that's what happened, okay. Let's go and put her back. Okay, uh, so she's actually gonna be, she's gonna look great. Cause if you remember the black, like let's bring her in again. So let's go to upload. I'm going to insert this image and then on this one, I'm going to flatten so that it's not adding all the pieces over here and just clogging up our stuff. So she's there. Let's flatten. Let's make her 30 inches so that we can see what she looks like on this. So see, this is where the seams are going to be, right? So the seams going to cut right here. It's just tiny on the skirt where we're going to see the seams. Her black shoes, seamless, right? Because it's all in one square. Her black bow up here, seamless. So where we're gonna see the seams are like right here. Oh, and her arm, I think that's okay. She's gonna look really, really good. So let's delete her and let's slice this up. So this one right here, I'm gonna click here and slice. Here, slice. These are big, big chunks. She's gonna be in four big pieces and it's gonna be easy to manage, easy to put together. And I'm gonna show you because we're gonna move everything off of this grid so you can see what that looks like. And I think we have all our pieces. So here's her top portion. Oh, hold on, let me undo that. What happened here? So this is good. Did I not slice this? Let's do this. Okay. So this is here. What in the world happened to Cricut right here? My piece is gone. What? Um, did I do something weird? All right, let me undo this for a second. I don't know what happened. Okay, I'm gonna slice from this side. Why did it do that? Okay, let me undo this for a second. 
Here's our black background. Those are our squares. So weird. Um, why is it doing that? Okay, so this is another, let's just, design space is acting up right now. But if you can see, normally this would give us our fourth piece. This fits perfectly. There's one more piece. I would, let's not worry about that on here because most likely you're not going to get this glitch on design space. So just delete all of this. I'm going to save it for now. And this is another reason, um, Alice, 30 inches. Okay. This is another reason why I like to change the size of it to be a whole number because we've already done all of this stuff. I'm gonna just import, upload another Alice, get rid of all the colored pieces and just do her background again and slice it up just like this. But the reason why I like to change the size and I'm gonna show you why, I'm gonna bring this in, is I don't like to do this. I don't like to um, just pull the image and like get close to 30 inches and say, oh, okay, that looks good. I'm going to do it this size because if you ever have to recreate it to, um, you know, handle glitches in the system, I'm not going to be able to duplicate 35.73 inches again. So if you like it at this, I would make it 36 inches, save it Alice 36 inches so that if you need to recreate it for some crazy reason, you can do it easily. So on this one, I'm going to change it to 30. I'm going to show you how I do it. Oh, actually, it's probably a good practice. So let's do this. So on this one, I'm going to go over here and I am going to delete everything but her black background, right? This one I'm going to get rid of because I don't need this. And in fact, you know what else we don't need? We don't need that duplicate face. So uh, there's no reason to cut this when we don't, we know that it's gonna be seamless, so we don't need it. So let's go back over here. Here she is. Oh man, I do have to rebuild the squares. So give me a second. I'm gonna show you how quickly I do it when I'm not talking and asking you guys to follow along. So to me, building this grid is super easy. So I know I needed one. And then I need another one, duplicate. And then I'm gonna put them together. So this one, 11 and 10. This one, uh, let's see, I need to put it close enough so that I know, then I can round to the nearest whole number. So this is seven, 22, oh no, 21. This one, put it really close, 18 and 21. This one over here. Oh, uh, this is, what just happened here? Oh, probably because it's too high. But you know this one? We can make this one 11 and a half. All right, so let's just put it really close and this is nine point, oh, 32, gosh, I'm making all these mistakes. Okay, let's go grab this and bring it to the front. Okay, so I think we're good here. Let's slice this. Let's hope we don't get glitches this time. <laughs> but that was a good practice, I guess. Now you know what I would do. I normally would have done that behind the scenes and just finished recording and then go about my day um, and redo that. All right. Okay, so here's the top part. Uh, almost eight inches by 11, perfect, right? And in fact, I think that I would close out those holes because they're so small 
And then we're gonna have the black background. I'm probably not gonna cut the foam right there. So I think on this one, I'm actually gonna to go to contour and just hide all. It's gonna be solid black. Oh, this one doesn't close because it's open. All right, that's okay. Here's this and this and then this. Perfect. Let's grab all that, delete. Okay. Um, I'm going to save it and then let's go to the make it screen so you can see what it looks like. So you're going to need four sheets of the black, right? Cause there are four big pieces, but actually maybe not. Maybe we can stick this one with this one. So let's click on this, click on the three dots, move object, and we're going to move it to the other mat. It looks like it might fit on this one with this one. So let's go and confirm. We can always move it back. Oh, look at that. It's close. Three sheets of black glitter cards or black cardstock. I love it. Um, okay. I don't think we can do anything else. Let's look at the white. So here's her big skirt. Um, you know, let's see if we can fit everything. Let's change it to a 12 by 24 just so that we don't have to move each item over. But I think this is what I would do. I would move this, move this all the way down to 12. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, this is when you want to. Okay, if you remember, we did not slice apart all of this, right? But had we sliced it apart, this would probably all fit. Let me see if I can work. I can't work my magic. <laughs> um, if we slice this apart, you would only need a 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do that later because all this empty space, you can move things around. So we could put this here. The eyes can probably go down here. This we can then rotate this way a little bit. So just know that you should slice up these pieces so that we don't have all this empty space. I don't think I can make it work as is. Okay, um, let's see what else. Here is her, her face and her arms. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, but I would probably move this in like this. Yeah. Then I could save, I mean, you know, a big rectangle is much easier to use the next time for scraps and this area right here. Let's look at this piece. This piece, I would probably rotate it like this. Like, why is it not letting me do that? Okay. There we go. And then this piece I would jam in here because for my glitter gold cardstock next time, look at this big space that I can use next time, a nice rectangle. All right, let's look at the blue. So same thing with the blue, I would do that. I would move this in here, uh, maybe straighten this out even. like that. That leaves this nice big open space. Um, is this the same blue? Oh, if this is the same blue, and remember we didn't slice this apart, which is why it's, you know, if we sliced it apart, all the all these pieces we could jam together. <laughs> all right, same thing with the light blue because I'm doing two versions of the blue. I'm gonna use a light blue cardstock, um, no, a lighter blue glitter cardstock, and then I'm going to use the dark blue glitter cardstock to try to hide the seams. And then here's her mouth. All right, easy peasy. I am going to cut this. I will show you, um, I will do a tutorial on assembling it to show you the differences, but your best way to look at all the projects is on my Instagram. So it's Instagram.com slash the useless crafter because for each one of these posts, I usually post like five pictures. So you get really close up. What does it look like? The comparisons and all that. So, all right. Thank you so much. Oh, and I hit 15,000 today on YouTube. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. I am giving away five Barely Art glue bundles. So if you want to get on Instagram, all you need to do is follow me and just tell me that you you want to win <laughs> in the comments. Every comment, whether you're tagging someone or you're just telling me you love me, you hate me, whatever, any comment is going to count as one entry. And I, it's going to go through Saturday. I'm posting this for tomorrow's video, so that still leaves you Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning. The giveaway ends at Saturday noon Pacific time. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate all your support. Bye.